Kevin, David. Kaylee. All right, so for our intro, imagine you're in a park that you've never been to before and you know nothing about it. The office is closed, but you want to know more, like uh, how difficult, how long the trails are, uh, are there any problem crime areas that you need to worry about, is there somebody in the park already that you already know? Uh, our app can address all of these uh, questions and answer them. All right, so it's no secret that parks and recreational departments have issues with funding. As you can see from the chart um, that we found from Resources for the Future website, 40 of the 46 park directors across the country answered that they have significant or worse challenges with funding. So the pain that we are addressing is how to best spend the little resources that they have and to validate future funding, whether that's for new land, operations, maintenance, or any construction projects. Our idea is an app for parks and recreation departments that um, show you all the trails um, in an area. Um, in the Evansville area, there are 65 parks and 31 recreation facilities. That will show you what the terrain is like, how long the trails are, and if they are pet friendly. Um, the app will collect data for park and recreation departments to validate their funding. Um, the data that, that will be collected will uh, tell us how many people use the trails and for how long, and um, if the trails need any maintenance. Users um, can also put any other information into the app as well. So the parks in the Evansville area have a total budget of around $10 million. 70% uh, of that comes from user fees and 30% of that comes from taxes. Um, the last year they had was in 2015. After all their expenditures, they only had about $30,000 left. Our app that could be purchased by the Evansville Department of Recreation and Parks um, could purchase that app and it would allow them to allocate their funds more appropriately based on what areas of the park are used the most along with cut down expenses on things like map, maps, and other resources. So what differentiates us from our competition? Uh, what differentiates us for our secondary users is that our app will provide a means of contacting people they know in the park through an in-app messaging system. Uh, this would be used in conjunction with uh, interac interactive, uh, interactive maps that our app will provide and GPS. Moving on, uh, for primary users, this app will help give insights into um, problem crime areas through uh, user feedback and police reports. Uh, this will give insights into which areas need maintenance through user feedback, secondary user feedback. Um, this will also help give um, supporting documentation and data to help validate budget requests for the park itself. Uh, as far as value added goes for the secondary user, our app will, in one app, do what would normally take several apps to do. Uh, the value added for our primary users is that we take park data and through Katera we will aggregate that data and provide, provide a meaningful data to them to make their decisions. Our value proposition is for the parks and rec departments who need help uh, finding out the most cost effective use of their funding. Our app will get data on what part of the parks get used the most or need maintenance. And this is unlike Map My Ride and Trail Tracker. Our app will actually give data to help guide decisions. And for key activities, we'll use marketing, customer support, and uh, research and development. Uh, to get our customers' attention of our app, we will use flyers and posters. We can place flyers near parks and in the city while placing posters um, on buses and on bulletin boards. Uh, to keep our users happy, we will also need to provide customer support. Phone numbers, emails, or any other contact information will be available for any problems and troubleshooting needs. Uh, to keep our track up to date, we will also need research and development. This will help our app keep track of any new parks, trails, or any other data. Um, the key resources that we will use will be a copyrighted app, um, partnerships with Katera and um, Evansville Park and Recreation Departments, and a collection of customer databases. So for the key metrics, we were going to use uh, app usage, we were going to use uh, park attendance, which kind of ties into that with using the app. Uh, 
differences in revenue after seeing and using our product would be used to help determine whether or not it was effective. Uh, and secondary user feedback can be uh, taken in through the app and then sent to their primary users so they can see the feedback directly for themselves. And then we'll take the, the feedback from our primary users and we'll use that to judge whether or not our product is addressing their problem with pain. Um, we are working on building customer relationships by um, doing everything we can to keep retention high as well as working on our customer service department. Um, our customer segments, um, the secondary customers would be basically anyone who uses the park, walkers, runners, bike riders, um, all of that. And of course to them the app is free. Um, the primary segment would be either if it was purchased locally, the Department of Parks and Recs in Evansville, or if it was a state, it would be like the Department of Natural Resources. Um, we're reaching all of those customers either through um, mail, internet, or like the parks, we would make personal visits to the parks to explain to them our app and how it can help them. Our idea is very beneficial for a couple of reasons. Um, it was beneficial for the customers they're able to see um, all the trails in an area. Um, it's also beneficial for um, park and recreation departments because they gather all that information, um, all that data from the app. All right. Thanks, guys.